All right, this morning we're here at Cobra Command Cross, but we're gonna be doing Filthy 150, event number one, which is a thousand meter ski erg for time. And every second minute, including zero, you're doing a 20 meter handstand walk. And for those of you who don't deal in meters, we're talking about like 64 feet. So I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna like measure it at the competition. Um, I think it's 10, meter, 10 meters out, 10 meters back. So I measured it out to be 32 feet out and 32 feet back. Um, we have two skiers in Cobra Command CrossFit. Um, so I brought, we have one bad one and one good one. Well, I brought the good one back from my barn from last night and on the way here, it fell on the back of my truck and it drug along the road. And to be honest, the only thing it really actually ruined was the handle, which is pretty solid and speaks to the solidity or the solidarity or just the solidness of the skier because I drug it like Chevy Chase along the freeway. I'm that guy. Anyway, so I have to use a kind of a bad skier when I say bad ski erg, you might notice it in the video, so keep an eye on it. My right hand on the handle is gonna go slack every now and again. It doesn't keep tension very very well in the right handle. So you're gonna see me like pull, and my left hand will keep tension really well, but my right, it'll like slack and go, and it just it's difficult to keep a really high calorie per hour pace, or I'm sorry, meter average. It's really difficult to keep that, considering it goes slack every couple pulls, and it just kind of messes you up. So, not an excuse, but, that's probably gonna happen. Um, going into this workout, I think the goal in this workout is, man, see if we can finish sub four. It'd be fun to finish sub four. It's gonna be difficult, but I think with a solid handstand walk and a solid meter pace or ski pace, I think you can finish sub four. That's of course really heavily dependent upon the right hand and if it goes I'll slack and if I get the handstand back. So, let's get it. Don't let them distract you, but react if you have to. I'll react if I had to, put some things in the past to, and don't let them distract you, but react if you have to, yeah. React if you have to, yeah. Don't know the time, boy. Yeah. Just know that I'm, yeah. yeah. One of a kind, yeah. Uh. What's on your mind, yeah. Uh. What hard to find, yeah. Uh. Beautiful mind, yeah. Uh. Still in my prime, yeah. Just know that I'm, yeah. yeah. Too many nights, boy. Yeah. Not feeling right, yeah. Uh. Too many nights, yeah. Not feeling right, yeah.
<coughs> All right, we finished Filthy 50 event number one. That was fun. Don't get me wrong, it was a fun little workout. It's a good, probably a good solid workout to start a competition off with because it's pretty easy, hardly any judging, and it should be fast, fun, and just furious. So, um, the not finished sub four, I made two big mistakes in the workout that I believe held me back from finishing sub four. Number one was that ski erg was not helpful. If you watch the video, you know that hand goes slack and it, it's, it's hard to keep a high, a high pace. If you know it's gonna go slack every now and again, it just makes you have to slow down and really control and be really solid in your pull. So it didn't really help out. Um, second mistake I made was I dropped my handstand walk and the second handstand walk on the way out. Honestly, I thought I was near the end of the blue tape. I thought I was done. Kind of find out I have another couple feet, a couple meters to go. And so I had to stop, drop, turn around, kick up and go again for a little bit. So that wasted a little bit of time, right? Um, overall, solid workout. Um, the first two minute interval, I was able to get like 480 meters. I think I kept like a 140, 142 the whole time for that average. And then kick, of course, in the second go round, you're gonna waste time, right? Because you need to kick up. So you're gonna have some time wasted there. I knew that and I thought, okay, if I go, I can finish this 520 meters in this next two minute interval, which is easily doable, it's doable. But unfortunately, um, I lost the handstand walk. I, I dropped before I got the, the tape and then that stupid skier just messed me up. I was able to hold like a 138, 136 for the majority of it. Then I kind of toned it back near the end because I realized I'm not gonna make this 520 meters. I'm not gonna finish it. So I need to tone it back, prepare for the fact that I have the handstand walk again. I don't want to be blown up. So <coughs> I finished, I think at like 805 meters. So I have hundred meters, I'm sorry, 900 meters. So I had like hundred meters left. So kicked up, handstand walk was really slow the third time because it was pretty blown. Came back, finished the last hundred meters. And I believe I finished in like a 503, 504. Um, so I think for you guys that are going to Filthy 150 or for you guys that are gonna try the workout, hammer the ski. It's meant to be hammered. And I think easily, I think if I tried it again, had a good skier, had a good game plan, you can easily finish sub four. When I say easily, I mean like a 357, 358, 359, or a four flat. But I think you can easily do it. It's doable. You just have to play it a little bit smarter and probably have good equipment. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later.